Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here uh, to do your October 2019 general reading. We're going to cover career, money, how the other person that you're coming to the reading for, how they view you, how you view the other person, who you need to let go, what healing needs to take place in and what areas. So let's get started, okay? I have shuffled and played over the cards off camera. I want to thank those who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Make sure you like so the video can circulate. Make sure you comment below. Um, take advantage of the 20 minute video recorded reading for $25. I'm going to stop that this week. Uh, all right, let's get into it. Okay, Aquarius. How does this other person feel about you? How does these, how, how does these, how does this other person, how these, how do people view you? How does this other person feel about, wow, the world? They may see that you, you've come a long way. You may travel for work or you're, you're, you're well rounded. Um, they may see that you've come to an enlightenment about who and what you are. That you're, you've changed before the better. This may have taken a year, a year's time. They see you as being stable, as fixed. Wow, nine of water. They see you as wish fulfillment. They see you as very mature and, and, and joyous and, and that good and exciting things are happening for you. They see you as something that they adore, someone they can't adore, someone that they have wished for, hoped for, prayed for. There has been or there is a, a, a sense of lackluster in the people that maybe they have come across, that they have dated. If they are in relationship now, um, they've hoped and prayed for a person like you, an energy like yours. Wow, the chariot. They see you as very stable, forward moving. They see you as making beneficial changes or beneficial changes coming to you as having options, as staying in control of, of change, of forward movement. Once again, focused and fixed. They see you as discipline. Um, some of you, you may be in the public eye. They may be watching you. They may uh, see that you're getting a lot of recognition. Some of them, they see you as the relationship person that they have wished and hoped for. How does this person view Aquarius? Six of Earth, wow. They, they view you as very balanced. That you are embarking on new career endeavors, maybe. Um, that you're trying to just get in control of, of things and stay on top of things financially. That you may be paying off some debt. It may even be karmic debt. It may, they may see you moving away from situations that no longer... Uh, benefit you or situations that never benefited you you were the only one giving they see you as making the choice to have balance in your life they see you as, as being unmovable in regards to the balance and the peace that you have they see you as single wow they see you as a ten of earth they see you as fulfilling long-term goals. They, they see you as, once again, getting public recognition, some fame, some fortune here. They see you as fortunate. They see you as 
the culmination of what not only an emotionally fulfilling relationship partner is, but one who is stable in every facet. Uh, wow, they, they, they see that they can have a really happy life with you. They see that there's financial security with you. They, they see that maybe you, um, something about magic, some of you could be magicians. You have the idea, you move on it. You make things happen. Wow, they see you as a soulmate, six of water. They feel like they may have had a past life with you. You guys may have met each other and said, wow, I feel like I've known you. They see you as easy to talk to, easy to relate to, easy to level with. They see you as um, someone that they can have a lot of history with. Someone that is um, very involved with their children. If you have children, or they see you as a person who that they could, who they could, or want to have children with, or they see you as a person that they can bring around their children. That's really good. This person, I mean, they just think you're the bee's knees, right? Wow, Ace of Sword under the deck. They see you as, as having victory by way of having a new start, of severing ties with. This may be an Aquarius coming into a whole new um, realm of, of life, changing almost everything in life and being victorious at doing so, in doing so. They see you as taking no nonsense if it doesn't have a fit. Because we got sixes here, so it talks about health and fitness. So the Aquarius analyzes every situation, every encounter. And if it doesn't, it, it's not healthy and it doesn't fit in their life, they see you as a person quick to sever the tie. Quick to sever the tie, the ace. Ace of air, yeah. Um, wow, they see you just as victorious. They just see you as just having a new foundational start, starting so many different things. Right, you're having really good ideas. You're inspirational. Um, having a challenging, even when faced with challenge, you you are you deal with it gracefully and and uh, proudly. Mm, okay. All right. So, how you view this person, whomever you're coming to the reading for, how does Aquarius view their person? We just got the Five of Cups under the deck. Aquarius, this person really just you on the pedestal. I mean, the pedestal is sitting in the air. It's hard to live up to that. That just flipped out. So you see this person as having a lot of anxiety, a lot of ans a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress. This person could have some health related issues, or dealing with someone who has health related issues. Maybe um, you see this person as at an ending, dealing with the extreme pain of an ending. The frustration, the anxiety of something ending. You see them as not able to to kind of put the final sword here. Let's see if the Ten of Swords will come out. Aquarius views this person as living in the frustration of the ending. You know, right there on the brink of, but never really going over the edge. Wow, chariot for how you view them, Aquarius, the Ten of Wands. Um, yeah, Aquarius, you see them as actively carrying this burden, having a lot of high anxiety, a lot of anxiousness and stress filled situations, maybe even some health related issues. But they carry on in a situation where they are unhappy, unfulfilled, 
where there is lack, there is no desire, but you, you see them as willingly carrying the burden of, you see them uh, carrying the burden of this relationship that they're in. This chariot talks about really, sevens relationship. You see that they're a person who can stay in the midst of drama and chaos, hurt, pain, extreme pain. You see them as being unmoved by that. It's in a sense weird to you. You just ask the question, why? Why would you stay? Uh, you see them as carrying a secret. The secret may be you or something to do with you. You see them, the fool. Okay, yeah, you see them as the fool. Never really taking the next step. In regards to moving things forward. Look, the fool, this guy is at the, the edge, at the ledge. Like I just said, it's like this person is at the ledge but won't just jump. Afraid to jump, afraid to start over. Some of you may view your person as starting over. You know, let's see. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. You see this person is needing to make a final decision, judgment. You want them to understand the past is over. We've done that. It's been done. We're not going back to that. You can't go back to that. You have to live in the present and make decisions in regards to what the present energy is. There is opportunity. There is need to change some aspect of a lifestyle here. The universe is bringing something back around. Yep. Wow, that just flipped out. The devil's bringing something back around for this person. For them to deal with. My jeez. You have two major arcanas. Two very positive ones. They have three. Four. Uh, Aquarius. You see them as... Needed to make a decision about entrapment, enclosure, about choices in their life, about actively being chained to making a choice to stay in situation that is unfulfilling, that is uh, turbulent, that is ending, that is dying. It's almost as if you like you ask them, why can't you just make a plan and move on? Hmm. Let's see what they have at the bottom of the deck. The Empress. It says that a new relationship, a business opportunity, some venture will be very fruitful for them. They have the energy of the Empress. And maybe that's you bringing that fulfillment, that happiness to their life. Um, but they have to take the leap. They have to take the, the leap here. And they aren't. Uh, you see them wanting to stay in the energy of just playfulness, creation. Maybe with you. And never taking it to a firm foundation we are this is what we're doing this is the status of the relationship you never wanted them to you see them as never really going to the fours you know the four of earth the four of pentacles the four of wands they're comfortable in between worlds but the cards say in the universe so you gotta make a decision who is it that the Aquarius needs to release? I'm hearing like release. For some of you, you need to release somebody. So we understand that this person needs to 
make a decision get truthful about this we're going to get the advice for them for you uh over at the website but right now we want to see who is it that the aquarius wants to release or has to release eight of cups there's somebody that you need to completely walk away from the hierophant in reverse this might have been in in untraditional relationship that you had engaged in with someone that maybe a relationship that was just based purely merely in regard in in sexual activity sex and some level of intimacy maybe um you try you guys tried to build something from the sexual activity trying to merge a lot something came out of this i don't know if you had a child children something came out of this out of this relationship but it was untraditional it, it's almost as it never had status some of you need to walk away from an untraditional relationship someone who won't give you status title uh someone who may have who may who had someone who has possibly had you in uh, a love affair you know um, whether it was just you and, and the other person or it was you them and somebody else and somebody else this person had you in a love affair uh there might have been like a level of games head games played childishness drama seven of swords yeah the, the truth about this situation has been revealed so you need to walk away you need to release maybe cancer pisces scorpio taurus gemini libra aquarius um the head games are all what i'm hearing is the head games are over aquarius you know how they feel about you you know how they feel about where they are there is no forward movement no progression here you just need to um, live in what is here and now two of wands yeah there is no active decision um, there's no active movement What? Well, yeah, the Ten of Wands in reverse. This could have been a secret love affair. Somebody's. You need to drop it, or they've dropped it. Could be with the King of Wands. You see, it could be with a married man. He's typically married. The King of Wands is typically married and has children. Um. But he's all about his desires. This is a man who does what they want to do. Okay. Um, what he or she wants comes first. And then they'll. Everything else will just trickle down. Okay. So. This is a person. Who. Um. It almost reads as narcissists. Like they were out just to get what they can get out of a situation. The the advice here is Aquarius, Eight of Cups, have the strength to release any emotional connection. You have the want to walk away. Now have the strength to release it because this is going nowhere fast. Even if this person resurfaces they resurface as maybe a committed person, man, wife, a husband. Um, they're after their heart's desire. They're after maybe, you know, the carnal nature, you know, in a relationship. Okay. This could be a cancer male. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. So, so for some of you, you need to release that. Let's see well, how we're looking in career. In finance for October 2019 Aquarius outside of that you have someone who looks at you very abundantly very um, gracefully and graciously like they're happy to be in your 
your presence. They're happy to know you. There is a lot of fulfillment in knowing you. You, on the other hand, you may feel like this person has a lot of decision choice to make. A lot of release. Somebody needs to release here. Um, let's see. Career and finance for the Aquarius. Career and finance for the Aquarius. Family changes. So maybe family is in regards to the career and finance. There might be a, a move. You may be moving for your career. You may not see much of your family. There may be an announcement to the family in regards to your career. A loss of a job, a divorce, a separation. Uh, maybe more money made, a promotion. It could be good news also. Uh, let's see. Career and finance for the Aquarius. Keep the faith. There might be some change here. There, you might be resting in the midst of the change, and it's gonna be there's a cause for you to keep the faith. Car career and finance for the Aquarius. Yeah, even in the midst of the challenge, which could be the Ace of Air, you coming into something new, a, a challenging new approach. Be true to you, Aquarius. If newness in regards to a career path, change, job move is what you desire, is what you want, is where you feel like you need to be, be true to you. Looks like you have suppressed your truth for a while. And then there we are, new career. Um, it may be rocky in the beginning. It may even be entrepreneurship. Others don't understand it. They, but welcome the new. This is beautiful, Aquarius. What else can you tell Aquarius about career, finance, career, finance? Thank you. Career, finance, career, finance. Aquarius. Leaving. Wow, you're leaving something behind. I think you're coming into your own gracefully Asian at the bottom of the deck. Coming into uh, an awareness that something, some new path is for you. You have set it aside, picked it up, set it aside, picked it up for a number of years, for um, a long time. I think spirit is wanting you to rest and dwell on the fact that this is for you. There is an element of change, a challenging new endeavor. But if you can get through to the other side, spirit is with you and saying that they, they're guiding you. Okay. So what we're going to do is this is beautiful in regards to career and finance. Also, how this other person looks at you. Absolutely uh, gorgeous. Also, what we're going to do is. Um, I'm going to get the advice for the Aquarius in regards to dealing with someone who needs to release. You could be dealing with someone who's married or has a girlfriend, boyfriend situation. Um, what's the advice for the Aquarius? advice for this person that you've come to the reading for the advice for you Aquarius is wow interesting wow uh, wow yeah
Okay. All right, so the, meet me on the other side. The advice for your partner is almost as if you guys are kind of mirroring each other. In a sense. In a sense. Not exactly. Um... interesting interesting in regards to the advice for you Aquarians all right okay Aquarius see you on the other side uh, a ve very good reading we're gonna talk about this person that you need to release um, and why you need to release them let's go ahead and why does Aquarius need to release this person? Oh, nice. Okay. All right, Aquarius. For those who need to release and you know you've got to release this person because it is not going to turn around in this relationship. Very good advice for you and a surprise here for you. Uh, I'll see you on the other side, guys. Remember, it's always $2. Went up $2.50 now because um, PayPal. Um, <laughs> um you know, exorbitant, a lot of fees to pay, uh, a lot of fees. So anyway, um, do know I, that um, I'm trying to make this as feasible monetarily as possible. If you feel like this reading resonates with you, you can't, you know, afford something, you know, just for yourself, but it resonates and you need a little bit more advice. $2.50 is not an astronomical amount of money to invest in the reading and the channel it helps we got new cards we have some more new cards coming um thank you to those who continuously um support the channel all right thank you guys see you on the other side the link is below